They are essentially being achieved in light night for sacred journeys and pilgrimages of this nature. Here we are. This place is 20 times as large as I imagined it would be from pictures. Wow. The last time I was here, these were all hovels. The whole place in front of the uh, Potalo. And now they have beautiful uh, flower gardens here. Yeah, you can see it put some fresh coats of paint on it. Fishy, fishy. Oh, 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 Okay, let's all go this way, because that's the path. Oh my God. Oh, so today, we're going... Up there. See up there? <laughs> up. Up, there? Up, 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 and away. <laughs> 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 if you meditate on this mountain, your merit and accomplishment is multiplied by extraordinary geometric factors. <laughs> because the enlightened masters practiced right here in this spot. So every time this brushes your hair, you're getting the blessings. Mm -hmm. And like so much in life, it's absolutely what you make of it. Here. See, there you are. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Yes. Yes. Tibetan season. Next year, I will bring you back to you. You better have to come a little closer. Come here, go, go, go. <laughs> Simply since 1984, I've been all over Tibet, China, North, East, South, West, from Mongolia to Hainan, from Lhasa to Mount Kailash. Mm -hmm. But this is the one place I come back to often, mm -hmm. almost every year. Because this is the, really the heart center of Tibet. The spiritual energy.